Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this quarter circle as you can see in this figure such that we have got these two line segments A, D and this line segment C, D such that they are perpendicular to each other and moreover the length for this line segment A, D is 24 units whereas the length for this line segment CD is 7 units and now we are going to calculate this distance BC so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's recall Thales theorem and here's our Thales theorem if points A, B and C are distinct point on a circle where the line AC is a diameter then the angle ABC this angle is a right angle that means 90 degrees now let's go ahead and apply this Thales theorems to our this given figure we can see that this point A and D are two points on the circle such that this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore this line CD can be extended to this point E that is also on the circle such that this line segment AE is the diameter of this semicircle. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect these points A and C. Let me just go ahead and connect these points A and C. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we got this triangle ADC. Now we are going to find the distance of this line segment AC. And now we know that this triangle ADC is a right triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side c d s a this side length b and this longest leg I'm going to call this side c and here's our Pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks where our a is 7 b is 24 and we are going to find the value of c let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so this is going to give us 7 square plus 24 square equal to c square that's going to give us 49 plus 576 equal to c square so we got c square equal to 625 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so c turns out to be positive or negative 25 and now we know that the distance is always positive so therefore i am going to pick c equals to positive 25 value and we know this c is this length ac and this turns out to be 25 units and now let's focus on these two right triangles abc and this triangle ebc they both are congruent triangles according to this side angle side theorem this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree as well this is the radius and this is the radius as well and they share this same side so therefore this side is going to be equal to this side if this side is 25 this side ce is going to be 25 as well so therefore we can write AC equal to CE so therefore CE value turns out to be 25 now we can see that this whole line segment DE is the sum of this individual line segment CD which is 7 and this line segment CE which is 25 we are going to add them up and if we add them up we are going to get d e equal to 7 plus 
25 that is going to give us d e equals to 32 so this line segment turns out to be 32 now let's focus on this big triangle a d e and we are going to find this distance a e now we know that this is our right triangle therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem once again and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case i am going to call this side as an a this side as b and this longest leg as side c and here's our pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks and here in our case a is 24 b is 32 and we are going to find the value of c and here a square is going to become 24 square plus b in our case is 32 so 32 square equal to c square so c square if we add these number turns out to be 1600 let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so c turns out to be positive or negative 40 and we know that the distance is always positive so we are going to pick c equal to positive 40 so the value of c turns out to be positive 40 in other words this line segment a e the length turns out to be 40 and we know that this is our diameter and now we can see since a e is our diameter so this b e is going to be our radius and we know that the diameter is twice as the radius so this diameter is going to be 20 units so that means our b e turns out to be 20. and here's our final step let's focus on this right triangle ebc the one that i have shaded over here and now we are going to find this distance bc now we can see that 20 could be written as 4 times 5 and 25 could be written as 5 times 5 so therefore this uh, triangle represents a 3 4 5 special right triangle as you can see in this figure so therefore our side length bc turns out to be a 3 times 5 which is equal to 15 so that means bc is 15 units so thus the distance bc turns out to be 15 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye